Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to be doing a review and unboxing of the HTX G-Wolves 4K. I said that very wrong. The G-Wolves HTX 4K, the one with the holes. It weighs 39 grams. Pretty awesome. So initial impressions really, right? The unboxing experience, this is a post commentary obviously, but it, it was a pretty standard G-Wolves unboxing, which is why I decided to do it in this manner rather than doing a full unboxing and initial reviews video. And that comes with all the same stuff, extra skates, bottom sticker, manual and whatnot, smelly good thing, of course, extra skates, I already said that. It comes with the power pokey stick thing. Thankfully, you don't need this like you did on the HDS Plus. You can just use your fingers. I guess they include that if your fingers can't fit in there, or maybe you just enjoy using it for some reason. It comes with the brush, necessity of course, um, and an extra battery, which is something I was actually concerned about off the rip. So I contacted the support about it to make sure it was not the HSK battery that was exploding. Good news, it is not. So I'm guessing they added it for safety precautions or maybe for the fact that the battery on this mouse is just not great. Um, if you want a wireless mouse that has great battery, I do not recommend getting a 4K polling rate mouse as it just drains the battery. You can of course use it on 1K, but if you're going to buy a 4K Hertz mouse, you might as well use it in 4K, right? We're going to talk about the 4K more later because I've had some issues with it. So like I said, we'll talk about it later. But the most confusing part of this mouse initially to me is the fact that that the mouse itself has a USB type C and the dongle is a micro USB. So I don't know if it's just for the 4K versions like that, but to me, it's really weird that they just for this batch, at least didn't make it a micro USB on the mouse itself as now I have to have two cords on my desk, which to me isn't a big deal. I have a two PC set up. I do a lot of mice testing, so I have a I have just a ton of stuff on my on my desk at all times. It's always cluttered, so it's not a big deal, but I guess you can just put the, the charging cable in your drawer or whatever and pull it out when you need it. But it's just, it, it feels a little inconvenient and I don't really, I'm not sure why they did that. I don't know if it's like that for the, for the, um, the Ace version as well. Just confusing to me. It's not a deal breaker, just really odd. Um, the quality overall feels absolutely amazing. For a mouse that's 39 grams that you can literally see through you can see my finger on the other side it is built like a tank there's no flexing at all i can squeeze super hard on the sides on the top i can press really hard down on the buttons i don't suggest doing that um i yeah i shouldn't have done that to be honest um but the scroll wheel feels great i know i i think i've seen some people have scroll wheel issues mine has zero issues my only issue off the rip with it is that it feels very low to the mouse you can you can barely even see it really i like i like a scroll wheel that sits a little bit higher so i don't accidentally bump it and press it which is a big deal in apex because i bind scroll wheel down to jump and scroll wheel up to w for tap strafing and then my ping is if i click on it which i accidentally do a lot because the way i grip my mouse my finger kind of sits like this and that's very close to the scroll wheel maybe i just need to work on my grip a little bit so it doesn't sit that close so that's going to be more of a personal issue for me but if you don't mind the scroll wheel sitting very low then then that's not going to be an issue at all but again no flexing at all other than on the bottom and barely any which is very surprising again you can see literally see through the mouse and on the bottom there's barely any flexing and you can literally see there just doesn't really look like there's much support going on in the mouse they just did a great job designing it i guess there's no holes on the side on the hold additions which is gonna which was a big deal for me i was gonna get the solid shell because i'm just a solid shell fan it feels like a much more premium experience i got the lambs do atlantis mini as well but it just no holes feels a lot more premium it looks a lot more premium visually as well but i decided that F it, I'm gonna I'm gonna shave off a few extra grams with the 4K edition with the holes in it, especially since there were no cheese grater on the sides. I believe this one is 39 grams. I don't have a scale, unfortunately. The ace with holes is 36 gram. The ace with no holes is 39 grams. And I think I'm not sure, don't quote me on this, but the, the 4K with the solid shell is 42 grams. Let me know if I'm wrong on that one. I completely forgot to look uh, overall very impressed with the build quality i absolutely love this mouse off the rip i think it's going to be on my desk for a while i'm not sure if i'm going to main it over the hts plus classic so we'll, we'll see going forward in the coming weeks how i feel about it but 
off the rip it's definitely a contender to be a main and just on my desk permanently shape it's almost like a starlight and a g pro super light had a baby it kind of feels it feels familiar when you pick it up if you've used a bunch of mice it's gonna feel very familiar to you i don't really know how to describe the shape i've seen some people post on twitter that it's very similar to the viper ultimate v2 i don't i've never used a viper ultimate so i couldn't tell you if you do know let me know in the comments but yeah i definitely to me it closely resembles the starlight or like if the g pro super light was a little bit more low profile not as long and the indents on the side definitely feel similar to that of a starlight or a g pro super light yeah, i think i do prefer the shape a little bit more i like how aggressive the hts is on the side grooves um another comparison i guess if you've used the hts plus it feels kind of like the same angle at least it's just not as deep if that makes any sense it, it doesn't feel as aggressive i guess um did i just say aggressive and not aggressive i don't know well we're gonna ignore that but yeah overall i think the shape is great and build quality is great it feels like i'm using air it literally just feels like an extension of my arm with the sky pad i, I could not use the default feet i do not like the default the any g wolves default feet they just feel really scratchy and just not like a smooth experience to me luckily i had some spare core pads laying around and thankfully on all the g pro on all the g pro on all the g wolves mice um all the new ones anyways there's no grooves on the bottom for the skates and i really appreciate that because i can just slap whatever skates i have extra on the mouse and it works fine so let's talk about the 4k polling right now right so day one absolutely perfect no issues at all it felt super responsive most responsive mouse i've ever used i was genuinely the most impressed by a, like a mouse connectivity as i have ever been using a brand new mouse it just it felt like an absolutely amazing experience um mouse felt great very low latency motion sync was on as well i've started testing it without motion sync but i haven't had a good opportunity to do so because the second day it started stuttering with the 4k so i had to play on 1k pulling rate i tried everything that i possibly could um to troubleshoot and whatnot and i think i finally figured it out so i was stuck on 1k pulling rate for about two days now i i have had no issue for about the past two hours prior to recording this video of gameplay with 4k so i'm i'm hoping that i fixed it i will let you guys know in the comments down below if i did fix it all the um trouble the 4k troubleshooting there's a channel for it in the g wolves discord if you guys want to go check that out it, it seemed to have fixed all of the issues that i was having with the 4k so far I, again I'll, I'll let you guys know in the comments later on if it stays true to that but just know if you're going to get the 4k you might have to troubleshoot and figure out the issue for yourself or get on and try to get jim to g wolves jim to help you um but conclusion would i recommend it yes if you only care about weight i strongly recommend getting the ace but if you want the best performance and you don't mind doing a little bit of troubleshooting and you're not concerned that you can figure out the issue yourself if there is issues with it hopefully there wouldn't be then the 4k is the way to go i just i i feel i know a lot of people say they don't feel the difference between 4k and 1k i feel the difference it, it feels so much smoother and more responsive and um I, I just really enjoy playing on 4k so if you're going for performance i'd go with the 4k if you're not very good at troubleshooting i would definitely maybe go with the ace or if you only want care about the weight go for the ace because it's 36 grams it's going to be the same build quality the same experience 1k polling rate so it's going to be just as good as well not just as good of course performance wise but you guys know what i'm saying but overall i think this is a great mouse and i strongly would recommend using it um or purchasing it i should say so hopefully this video was helpful and hope you guys enjoyed it and if you buy one let me know how you guys like it in the comments down below and i'll see y'all later peace